everyone and today we have a video um, this video of course is from some pictures that I took at a wedding photography class that I went to uh, as of the day that I'm recording this which is actually probably the same day that it'll be posted uh, was yesterday now this is just an intro uh, to photography classes um, for wedding photography um, it was taught by a photographer called Rich Miller um, and he has been a photographer for I think about 24, 25 years, uh, possibly even more than that. Um, and he really gave us some valuable information at the actual um, uh, place, at the church that we went to. And so it was, uh, it was very worth the uh, money I spent to actually go and uh, be able to see this class. Now, as you may have already guessed my camera setup is very different than his he has a, a Canon 5D Mark III and I still have a Rebel T5 but that doesn't mean that I can't get good pictures out of it and these are about the 20 best pictures or so I would say that I uh, got from that night of shooting uh, I took like I think I want to say almost around 300 photos but these were the first 20 that I saw that were really good out of all of them so first off here we have just a simple shot of uh, the bride uh, with her veil over her head and looking straight up. These, uh, that pi this picture was composed uh, with a can light uh, above, you know, those lights that are kind of uh, inside of the ceiling a bit, but uh, they don't have the covers on them. And I have a few of these, but this is my uh, best one. As you can see, I can... Uh, if you look over here into the histogram, my ISO was set at 1600, my focal length was 75 millimeters. Uh, I was at f4.0, and I had a 1 uh, over 320, 320ths of a second uh, for my shutter speed. Now moving on to this next picture. Uh, this we had a diffuser, uh, or possibly a reflector, I don't remember. But this was outside, so and we were a bit closer so I had switched to my uh, 18 to 35 millimeter instead of my 75 to 300 which is what the first picture was shot on um, and as you can see I was at ISO 800 uh, with 36 millimeter focal length uh, I was at f5.6 and I was at 1 hundredth of a second uh, now this next photo up here, there's a little uh, part of someone's flash in it, but I still think it's a great uh, photo, and it kind of just looks like, uh, you know, you know, you can crop it out and actually make it, you know, look good. But um, this was uh, one of those kind of uh, pictures that you take. Uh, he told us that a uh, good thing to do is take a lot of candid pictures, and that's what I did a lot of the time, and so did everyone else when you uh when everyone saw a candid moment all you heard is chick, 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 and that's just on like one camera you'd hear like maybe a total of over a hundred uh, different photos taken collectively out of all about uh, I would say around 10 people in the class I would say Uh, next, this was at uh, sort of a field that was uh, right across from the church uh, that we were in. And uh, to clarify, this wasn't an actual wedding that he just brought us on. We all shouted him. Uh, the This couple had been married for 10 years, and uh, he paid them, and they came out. And uh, they were in their, you know, the bride was in her dress, and the groom was in his suit. And uh, they were our models. So I particularly like... Uh, some of the pictures that I got uh, over in this little field because especially with like this I was in the shade and uh, you can kind of see in the foreground still the pine tree but you can still see them in the middle ground and then the other trees and a lot of the sun in the background and I really enjoy this because it's like you know you can see them walking off the bride has uh, kind of a bit of an angelic glow um, so yeah and I like this one because uh, you can see uh, there's shadows on the ground which are practically perfect and you know you can just see through everything in the bride's dress in a good way not in a bad way but 
you know, you still have the sun coming down and everything. And this is actually uh, maxed out at my uh, top shutter speed, which actually wasn't fast enough. So uh, when I look into getting a better camera, I'm obviously going to go for one that has uh, probably faster shutter speed. We have this one. Uh, which I might uh, change a little bit. I'm not sure. This is a this. All these are just as shot. Um, I haven't done anything to them. Um, I just loaded them up into my computer and made them in. You know, they're the raw files, so I can do a lot more with them. But I do like this because it's like you get the hard light of their shadows, but still the bright light in the background, and uh, it's a nice kind of candid moment. Here you also have this, where you can kind of see the rays of light shining through. I might, if I go to edit in these, uh, I would uh, dial down the exposure just a little bit, but I, I could make it work. This I really love because, of course, you have the bright light shining through, and, uh, you know, they both look happy and stuff like that, and so, therefore, um, you're not getting... Um, with the way it was angled, you're not getting any super hard light blocking, you know, their entire face. You just get that, and uh, it's perfect. Uh, now here uh, was one that uh, one of the students actually pointed out, and uh, we all took a picture. Um, there was this little spot on the wall where the sun was still shining, and so she had the bride go up there and stuff. This um, picture was a picture that... I was allowed to take with the uh, Westcott Rapid Box that the uh, the two that uh, the photographer had actually brung. Now, I think you know, in terms of doing something like that, I'm gonna you know dial down the exposure just a little bit so that it's not all blown out, uh, you know, around the bride's face. But maybe I can still. Uh, bring some of it up around there uh, where the groom was standing. But as you can see, this was shot at 1 200th of a second. Um, most of the time I had my camera in uh, aperture priority just because, you know, I just kind of wanted to let the camera focus for itself, so I added an autofocus as well. But I didn't want to miss any good shots. So here we have... A uh, nice one. Uh, these th three are kind of coupled in a bit. But as you can see, this is in really low light and there's very low colors in it, as you can see over in the histogram. Um, and I really like this photo because, you know, you can see him smiling and stuff like that. So it's very, um, you know, it's cute. Here, uh, th uh, these three total, this one and these two. Uh, they, we all just had a flashlight shining right on them, and it works very well. Um, and so this was taken as the same as the uh, first one that I showed you. Uh, so here's another one of them both under the veil, and I think it's very cute because you can both see their smiles. Here we have one of the uh, bride where we kind of did a shot of walking out the door, and uh, you know you have her turning around and stuff like that, and. Uh, we overexposed it a little bit so that some of the whites got blown out, but it looks really good. Uh, here you have another one of the bride just kind of walking around. Uh, it's kind of a candid moment because down here in the uh, bottom left-hand corner, you can see the uh, brew, the groom uh, picking up her train on her dress. Here you have a picture of the couple. Um, another picture, uh, one kind of showing off the uh, ring. And then uh, a few more of the bride, and then this one, which I like because she's playing with her veil, but he's you know kind of in the background, kind of in the, and she's in the foreground, but it works. Um, well, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't go too in depth on a lot of the photos, but you can always check them out on my Flickr account, and uh, that will always be in the description if you want to go and see it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.